One Nation leader, Pauline Hanson, I think is on the line now from Canberra. Great to have you with us, Senator. Thanks, Steve. Thanks for having me on. Good to speak to you. Where are we putting all those people? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Um, it is absolutely disgusting what they've done. Steve, immigration has been a big issue of mine since I was first elected to Parliament. I'll try to explain the impact that it has on our way of life, standard of living for most Australians. It is going to be an impulse on our infrastructure, nursing homes, water. Uh, it's just never ending. Schools, uh, you name it. So the government uses immigration to pop, to pop up or crop up the... Um, our GDP. That's why they bring in the migrants, because they're going to be selling more products. Big businesses want it because turn over more products. So that's why they actually, productivity goes up because you've got more people buying product here. And it's not a way, it's a Ponzi scheme. So these people at the end of the day are going to need nursing homes, infrastructure, housing, all the rest of it. So the losers out of this are the Australian people. But aren't we in the middle of a housing crisis now? Aren't we seeing people... Even I, I was uh, standing in an apartment block a couple of weeks back and there was about 60 people queued up out the front to rent a very dark and dingy two-bedroom apartment. I mean, if you bring all these people in, they're going to have to have somewhere to live. Steve, um, you are quite right with it, but see, Albanese doesn't want to consider that. Um, Chalmers don't want to consider it. They said, oh, well, we're, we're going to give a 15% uh, pay increase to renters, so it's going to be up to about $31 extra a fortnight that we're going to help you pay that increase in rent because rents are going up, supply and demand. It makes common sense. Then they're talking about building all these houses that they intend to build. Where are they going to get the materials from? Where are they going to get the workers from to build all these houses? It's not going to happen. But keep bringing more migrants into the country. And it, it's... It's just ridiculous and they're saying jobs out there. Steve, we've got about a million people on the welfare system at the moment. Why haven't we got these people being forced to actually go to work? And I'm talking about these people who have been on welfare for 20, 30, 40 years. Why are we giving them an increase in the dole payment when they haven't even worked for so long? It's become a way of life. I know it's not much that they're getting, I agree, but they're quite happy with it. So they all pull the rents together, live in the one accommodation, have a wonderful way of life, and yet the, the guy next door who has to go to work is paying for it. Just back on the office staff, I mean, I was critical of the fact that uh, every MP's office will get an extra staff member. Apparently all the MPs, including you, are all overworked and don't have enough staff. Now, I understand for you as an independent, One Nation doesn't have the resources of the, the Liberal MPs, the Labor MPs, even the Greens and even the Teals, but do we need five staff members in Canberra uh, living off the tax buyer? Definitely not. Uh, my office is totally different. You see, as a senator, we actually have... Um, I've got over 5 million constituents in the state. If you're in Tasmania, it's five, half, a, um, half a million. You've got 12 senators in, in Tasmania, as you have in all the states. As a senator, you've got the whole state to represent, whereas a, a lower house representative has about 100 or 110, maybe 120,000 constituents. So, no, you don't. You are absolutely spot on, right in your comments and what you said. You know, these days, with the telecommunications, you can do a lot of your work uh, via the internet, um, Skype, telecommunications, all the rest of it, and you don't have the invitation. Some of these electorates are only five kilometres by five kilometres in the inner city, so where are they needing all the work? And you're right, a lot of people don't go, you know what, a lot of people don't even know they can go to the members of um, Parliament's office <laughs> and complain or try to get work done. They don't even have a clue. They know a lot of who people, I am. A lot I, of people don't I even know who they are. My office. That's exactly, that's what I was about to say. A lot of people don't even know who their local MP is. No. Nah, I get people pulling me. And as I said, I'm, I get people pulling me up in the shopping centre, telling me their issues because they know who I am, and I'm just dealing with their issues while I'm doing my shopping. I've got no problems with that. And I've helped many people out that way. But a lot of these people wouldn't know who their Member of Parliament is. Tell me about overworked. And they're, because they're with the major political party, you know they walk in the, in the Parliament when the bell's ringing, they wouldn't have a clue what they're voting on because they follow the party line. I have to be across everything. I have to know what I'm voting on. And that's the difference between their office and my office. 
when you sat to and watched Jim Chalmers deliver the budget last night and you've looked at all the commentators today, I want you, Pauline Hanson, because I know you, you like to be a positive person. What's the one thing in that budget that you thought, yep, that's a good thing? Look, I'm not against the $20 uh, a week or a fortnight to those people on, on welfare payments. Look, it's, people are doing it, it tough out there. Um, what do I think is positive about it? Geez, what? Um, I can tell you everything that, that riles me about it. Another $20 billion into the climate change policies. That's $40 billion now. You're going to give single mothers the right to actually not work till the kids are 14 years of age. I'm sorry. Where, you know, what about mums and dads that have to go to work? Are they home for their children? No, they're not. But we're going to give them another $176 a fortnight to be able to sit home till the kids are 14 years of age and giving them the right to actually earn an income of over 500 a fortnight dot as well if they want to go and do some work, plus rent assistance, plus health care, plus the tax benefits A and B, so plus, 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 that's all happening as well. Steve... This is a socialist communist budget to actually win the votes of a lot of Australians out there who are doing it tough. But I, I've, um, I didn't see anything that is going to improve our country to produce productivity, industries, manufacturing, that's going to incentivise people to get out there and work and provide for themselves and their families. Well, even encouraging uh, GPs to... to treat uh, children and pensioners uh, with bulk billing. I mean, that sounds like a good idea, but it's not going to start till November. No, it's not. That needs to happen. But, Steve, it's OK if you're going to bring in bulk billing with a lot of these pa you know, patients, which I need, but we don't have the doctors. A lot of the doctors that are coming through the educational system and that are qualified, they're actually doing further studies and becoming specialists. So we're losing the average GP. So what we're doing is we open up the floodgates for migrants from overseas to come in as doctors. Do you know a lot of them can't pass the test because they can't speak English or they don't understand our level? of competence in this country to become competent doctors here. We have a real problem. And the AMA has a lot to, to answer to this because they kept the numbers down over the years. So we've lost the health professionals, the nurses. Um, COVID had a big impact on this, but we haven't got the professionals. So go your darndest and you think that you're going to put in these medical centres, well, you find the people who are going to man it. Senator Hanson, always a pleasure to catch up with you. Thank you very much.